Oh man, I'm doing you a favor that I've watched this and you don't have to. Let's see some blood. Well, we're back again, and uh, Daniel Bernhard is back in Bloodsport 3. And it's the same director as Part 2. And what was he thinking? He released this in the same year, in 1996. Straight to VHS video. We didn't go to no cinemas. We didn't worry about that. Straight to direct video. And that's saying a lot. And honestly, what was this director thinking? Did he make enough money from Part 2 to fucking even think about doing this one? Because I don't even know how far apart these two got released. Surely he lost some money, but let me review this. Now, you can't start the next chapter off without showing the ending of part two. And that's for all the lazy fuckers out there that didn't watch part two and went straight to part three. It's a pretty simple story, this one. His trainer is murdered. Yeah, the trainer from freaking part two, the freaking little Asian guy from jail, he's murdered. He wants revenge against the main bad guy. So he's gonna fight him in the Kumite. Oh shit. So we start off after a bad dream. Alex uh, goes and sees his son, who's been suspended for beating up three kids at school. And Alex isn't impressed, so he tells him the story. It's a backstory, this movie, of how he won the Kumite again. And now he's a gambler in this second movie. And after beating up ninjas, <laughs> The casino owner wants Alex to retrieve what was stolen from the safe. A little bit of a same fucking story here, and a really bit of a lame story, but it really does tell itself at the start, which is easy to understand. And still, when he fights, he goes, Yeah! <laughs> Fucking Alex, come on, man. Now this rich prick wants Alex to fight in the Kumite where he's a bit meh. But we get introduced to the final boss, the Beast, who just destroys everyone. The Beast. <laughs> Lame as fuck. So he doesn't want to fight in the Kumite, so to get Alex's attention, they fucking kill and blow up his fucking little Asian trainer from jail, from part two. Lame as shit. And now Alex is in. To the Kumite we go because he wants revenge. And 30 minutes in this movie, the story is told. And it's set up pretty good. But it's like your typical 90s action movie. But the B-grade straight to VHS style, which is pretty bad. So Alex needs to train again for this Kumite. But he needs a new trainer, so he finds... Asian's brother in the mountains. And we get a really boring, dragged on training session that is pretty fucking horrible. <laughs> Fuck me with that shit, cunt. And Alex is almost ready, but he needs some Cobra training. <laughs> Fuck. And the tournament begins and the fighters are so fucking lame in this movie. <laughs> over the top lines and catchphrases, it's actually fucking pathetic. Now the tournament is absolutely nothing special at all. It lacks characters that have been developed before the tournament happens, so characters that you have learnt about and you know their styles, like part one where you get to see the little snippets at the start and you see cool things with the characters, this one just, you don't get to see anything, it's just bang, they're in the tournament. Like, what the fuck? I don't know anything about this character or fighter. Honestly, it just made me feel like I've just clicked on a fucking Street Fighter game and picked a character and now I'm watching them fight. The final fight versus the Beast is basically just a lame, replicated part one and part two ending all over again. All fucking over again. And of course, Alex wins. And we've just wasted 90 minutes of our lives that we're never going to get back again. Ever going to get back again. And we finish off with the lame Mortal Kombat rip-off song again from the second movie. This movie was absolutely fucked. I really am not looking forward to part four. Part four is going to be as dog shit as this. This one gets a two out of ten. A fucking dirty two out of ten. There were some good fights in there. Uh, mainly from Daniel Bernard, but uh, nah, not recommending this one. Not recommending this one at all. It's really annoying that uh, they actually made this 
Part two was okay, and I can understand they gave it a try. But doing this third one and releasing it straight away, same director, I don't know what you're thinking, man, but not impressed at all. Two out of ten, that's all you're getting from me from this one. <sighs> Part four next week. Uh, watch all this other shit on this channel, like, subscribe, do us a solid, and subscribe. We're growing, we're growing, man, we're growing. Until next time, see you.